my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another video for you guys this is a reading for those of you guys that are currently single and are looking for love this is going to be we're going to look a little bit into your situation we're going to see uh, who's the next person that's coming into your life or the person that you're going to be getting into a relationship we're also going to try uh, to get some information in regards to their physical attributes, as well as what they're bringing into this relationship or this connection, what they're going to be helping you uh, in regards to the connection itself, uh, the integrity of this connection, and also how they feel uh, moving forward when this relationship or this connection starts to manifest for you. Uh, so we're going to tap into their thoughts, um, what they're going to be revealing themselves to you, and the, the way they're going to communicate or express their love to you. So as you guys can see here, we have set number one with the red, set number two with the violet, and set number three with the pink candle. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes so that you guys can tune in uh, and try to figure out what what is the cards that are calling to you. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes, tune into your energies, uh, let the colors speak to you, and we'll get into the reading. Lovely. So for those of you guys that chose set number one with the red candle, we have the world card here. The world card. This could represent any sign, as I see all the signs here earth air fire and water we also have the sun card here so what they're telling me here is that this person may all you already may be dealing with this person or there was some type of ending or separation between you and this person the world card indicates um conclusion but it also speaks about um because we have the sun it's also speaking to me um around the sun so that could be a representation of a cycle that you've already experienced with this person that may have came to some type of conclusion or separation, as I do have the Five of Cups here. Now, we also have the Death card, and the Death card is next to the Nine of Cups. So I feel very strongly that for some of you guys, um, the person that is going to be coming into your life is someone that uh, perhaps there was some type of conclusion or some type of ending with this connection. Uh, perhaps some of you guys are holding on to some type of hope, holding on to uh, some type of hopefulness in regards to this reconciliation. Um, there is definitely, I feel that it's been long in the making for some of you guys. Um, now for others of you, this could represent a person that is already in your surroundings. Like I said, this could be any sign. It could be a Taurus, um, sorry, earth, air, fire, or water type of energy. But this is a person that has or that will be getting all their shit together. This is a person that has transformed themselves. Um, so the card that is representing you is the Page of Pentacles. So there may be some type of immaturity, uh, immaturity, uh, sorry, emotional immaturity. Uh, you could be the type of person that likes to test people uh, or you, you kind of push. Um, it could be like being very guarded and you push them, uh, try the best you can to push them away. And it's almost as if like the more you push them, you want them. The reason why you're doing this could be because you're wanting them to prove to you how much you mean to them. Uh, so I do see you a bit defensive. I do see you a bit. Uh, you enjoy some type of mind games. Um, not judging here. Could be based off of your past experiences. Could be because you've dealt with this person at some point. And there was a feeling of immaturity in the relationship or there was a feeling of they weren't putting the effort. They weren't putting uh, as much energy as you were putting in this connection. Now, I am seeing here the card, the lovers is representing their energy. So I feel that they got to a point or they will be getting to a point of making a decision. I feel that this separation, if you are dealing with the person that recently there was some type of separation it, this was 
this was needed in this connection because I feel that one was ready and the other was not. Uh, the lover's card also represents being at crossroads right now. And from that crossroad, they will be making the decision because they will be understanding that it was a loss. It's a loss that they've taken or it is almost like an aha moment, aha moment of understanding uh, that you were a person that genuinely cared or genuinely loved them. They're seeing you as uh, almost at the point of losing you. And I feel that that's what really shakes them. I do see reconciliation here. Now with the Nine of Cups, this is the card that is indicating the advice. You need to learn to be more optimistic and more positive in your love life. Um, stop repeating the same cycles from the past. So this could be the way the way you reacted or the way you acted in this relationship could have a lot to do with things that you've done in the past from pre previous experiences. Now, if you have dealt with this person and there was some type of separation, I feel that, like I said, there is a bit of mind games, not necessarily on their part. I do see emotional immaturity. Um, this could be you or this could be them. But there was trust issues, and I feel that this is on your part because we do have the trust issues card here. So this is what needs to heal, what needs to happen in order to be able uh, to bring uh, that connection to its full manifestation. You have to understand that you are worthy of love, that you deserve to be loved, and that you're not hard to be loved. I feel like people have taught you or made you feel in relationships like you were a difficult person to deal with, or this is how other people perceive you and you've kind of believed it and you've gotten to a point where, again, you kind of expect people to jump certain obstacles, certain, uh, it's, it's almost like a, a tug and pull because that's how you were taught or that emotionally, that's how you feel that people will let you know that they do care for you. And what they're telling you is there's a need for you to let go of control. This is the way you control people or this is the way you test partners. Um, it's almost like you you may have some type of necessity uh, to control the situation or to control the partner. And the moment you start to see changes, you start to freak out. You start to panic. You start to go on this negative spiral type of snowball effect. Um, so what they're telling you is you need to let go of those trust issues. Now, if this is a person that in the past has hurt you uh, or has taken your trust for granted, then what they're saying here is if you're wanting to have this reconciliation, you have to be okay with understanding that in order to move forward, you must either let go of what was experienced and not hold that against them and start fresh or start new. That's the only way to be able uh, to see this connection really flourish. Uh, if this person has not let you down, it just happened that perhaps they kind of, you know, created distancing because there was a toxic type of behavior here. It could be that they are understanding that they do have love for you, but they also understand that there are certain issues that you need to either heal from or that they need to heal from as well. So again, there was a need to separate. There was a need to go your own path, to come to some type of conclusion in order to be able to see ourselves better in the mirror and understand where we were wrong. Do you see what I'm saying? Now they're telling here, uh, I know you hurt. It's not rejection. I do adore you, but I can't be there like you want me yet. So again, I feel that this is a past relationship. This is a person you've dealt with in the past. I can feel you by my side. Remember that our higher selves is always helping each other in this journey. So I feel that they're seeking their truth or they're seeking uh, some type of understanding. Um, and we also have insecurities keep me away. I hope one day I can be brave and tell you just how much I love you. So it could be that you have a lot of healing to do. And it could be that they themselves have a lot of insecurity issues. Keep in mind, it is a general reading. So if the control issues and trust issues was more on their side, those are insecurities that they need to get through, that they need to work on. And I feel that this time in separation or this time away has been 
uh, almost like a healing experience for them or coming to the understanding because they're seeing you here uh, with the world card and the sun like you are or were a blessing in their life and they understand your worthiness. They understand uh, that they are capable of making you happy, but there was a necessity to pull away to kind of regroup, regather. It's kind of like, um, let's see if this distancing brings or grows the heart fonder, which I see that it definitely has. Because we have the death card, there is a transformation that's happening here. So it's kind of like when we go on a break only to come back stronger is what I'm sensing in this reading right here for set number one. Now, in regards to, uh, like I said, I do see all signs here present. So it could be an earth, fire, energy type of energy, uh, type of person. Uh, with the lover's card, it could represent as well as a Gemini, or it could represent a, per a person that is very uh, attractive. Uh, this is a person that is very good um like they have no problem attracting uh, the opposite sex or same sex doesn't matter it's a general rating um but this is definitely a person that is very what would be considered handsome or beautiful uh this is also a person that uh is very energetically magnetically attracted it's almost like they're very confident um and oftentimes believe it or not uh people that are perceived as very confident very empowered um, do actually suffer for, from a lot of insecurity issues. Uh, it's almost like an image that they have to maintain or maybe in childhood they were taught or made, made feel like uh, they weren't enough or they weren't worthy enough. So there's almost like, because they're showing me like this person is very much into their physical. So it could be a person that, uh, you know, likes to maintain themselves. It's a person that could be... Um, uh, extremely athletic or a person that really likes to put effort in how they look. Um, and, and again, I feel that with the trust issues and control issues, that could be like the trigger points of why uh, this, this needed to happen, this separation, this healing that needed to happen. Because um, if you're the one that deals with insecurities or if you're the one that deals with not being confident in yourself, uh, dating or being with the person that could come off as extremely confident um, could be very triggering for you. It could be almost like in the constant fear uh, that they're going to go with someone else or that they're going to be physically attracted to someone else. Um, but there is definitely a feeling of like losing control and freaking out over that. So again, I feel that what they're telling you here is when this person comes back around, should you decide to want to move forward, you're going to have to work on your trust issues and um, choose love. Understand and know that if this person is coming back around and they're willing to put the effort into fixing this relationship, know that they are choosing you. So that should make you confident. That should make you feel more empowered and know that this person sees the worthiness in you. Um, and that of control issues, you know, feeling trapped or lost of self-respect, um, acting a certain way or acting like you're constantly checking up on them or it, it kind of makes the other person view you as either weak minded and this could be very unattractive to them. Um, they could feel like they're getting tired of that situation or etc. So what they're telling you here is this is something that you need to be working through at this very moment so that when they come back around this relationship, again, like I said, with the death card and the nine of cups, it would be worth it in the end. Why? Because there is emotional fulfillment and there is a changing of status. If there was some type of ending, um, you know, it's kind of like the relationship being reborn again and giving or having the opportunity to start all over, okay? All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now let's go to set number two. Hey, my lovelies, here we are with those that chose set number two with the violet candle. Let's get into your reading. Now, what I'm seeing off the bat is we have the Hierophant here and the Devil card. So I'm sensing very heavily um, Earth energy. So you may be dealing with a Virgo, you may be dealing with a Taurus, or you may be dealing with 
the uh the devil <laughs> let's hope you don't deal with the devil i meant uh capricorn um very very strong energy is like boom like they are earth energy this is a person that knows exactly what they want this is a person that is not into wasting time there is commitment and the possibility for manifesting something long term in this connection now we're starting off here with the ten of swords and this is the energy that you are being represented as so the ten of swords represents the end of a cycle this can also represent coming from a healing uh, almost like in the past you were or have experienced a very difficult tumultuous type of uh, connections when we are talking about relationships the ten of swords also uh, speaks about uh, having a lot of um, a lot of wounds you, you've been through a lot you've you've been hurt uh, you've been through a lot emotionally and the positive in this is that you're coming out as the ten of swords and the ten is the ending cycle so this is renewing some type of um or getting to the point uh where there is a renewal of energy there is a beginning of something that's coming forth um, that is going to completely remove you from past experiences or remove you from an energy of feeling victimized, feeling like, and this is mentally, this is a state of mind. This is a feeling like you have a tendency or of over-sacrificing yourself in relationships. Um, this is about... Uh, dealing with toxic partners that have just taken and taken and taken from you and the beauty in the ten of swords is that it's allowing us to understand that we're coming out of this cycle you're ending this cycle you're no longer going to be experiencing this type of energy so it's a very beautiful a very healing energy is what i'm hearing now what the partner is being represented as is the page of wands. So this is a person that is uh, very adventurous. This is a person uh, that could be extremely passionate. Even in the way they talk, they're like very animated with their hands, with their face gestures. This is a person that is really embracing almost like there is some type of innocence to them. Um, not to say that they are innocent or that they're immature, but what they're telling me here is that this is a person that there is some type of innocence to them. Uh, it could be that they're extremely playful. It could be that they're very uh, juvious type of energy. This is a person that is like full of energy. Um, a person that really is very determined is what they're telling me. So this is a person that is accomplished or uh, you may be meeting this person at the height of their career. Um, now with the moon card here, this is a representation of the relationship or connection itself. And I feel that this person is coming through, uh, either in the full, uh, sorry, on the new moon throughout, uh, this new moon that's coming towards the full moon. Uh, so around that time frame is when this person is going to be showing up because they're telling me you're being illuminated, you're being guided or spirits are guiding both of you guys to collide um, very beautiful energy and very beautiful, um, connection that I'm sensing here with the moon card. I feel that there is an allure, um, to you. It's almost like you could be, this person is automatically going to be very intrigued by you. They're going to want to know more about you. This is a person that, like I said, I'm seeing them move their hands and, and, and just being very animated with the way they express themselves. So, um, I feel that that's really like it's going to be a something very, very major that is going to stand out about this person that the way they express themselves. It's like they're very intense and passionate about what they're talking about, which is a beautiful energy. Now, the advice here is the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles is enjoy your singlehood right now. Uh, really take time to don't don't look or search for love. Love is coming towards you. Fully embrace the energy that you're in right now. 
Um, this is about feeling blessed about everything that you have in your life. It doesn't matter how how much of it you have or how little you have of it. It's about gratefulness. This is about know, knowing and understanding that you deserve better and that you have not settled in the past. Um, whether relationships didn't work or not, they were just not to your vibration. They weren't they weren't meeting your needs. You know, you often found yourself having to sacrifice to accommodate them. And what they're telling you here is don't do that no more. Fully embrace yourself and know the power that you have. Know that you are a beautiful person inside and out. Know that you are worthy, that you are loved. The universe loves you so much that it's going to bring to you this person that is going to cherish you. This is a person that is really going to put effort. And again, like I said, you're going to know from the get-go that this person is not playing games. This is the energy of very straightforwardness. This is a person that is very confident and they know what they want and they go after it. And it's you who they want because they're seeing you as a person that doesn't need anyone. They're seeing you as a person that would complement their life. Do you see what I'm saying? It's 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 a very beautiful. I see them like kind of putting you on a pedestal. And like I said, I feel very evidently like this person is going to be very intrigued by you. Now, your next card here is the seven of wands. And the seven of wands is feeling a bit like you're not expecting their energy because they're coming on a bit strong. Uh, and that's not to say it's a bad thing. I feel that that's what you need in your life. Like you've been put in situations where you often question other people's authenticity or intentions. And I feel that this person is going to make it crystal clear for you. This is a very beautiful energy. I see that this person is um, something uh, like they're going to have like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like a mustache or like a goatee or like a beard. Uh, they have facial hair. They have very like uh, symmetrical or like what you would consider uh, very clean uh, eyebrows, very like uh, full eyebrows. Uh, their their eyes are really standing out to me. Um, they're going to have a very masculine type of energy. Um, it, it's almost like this person is not is is not so much about them being physically attractive. Um, if we're talking about males right now, um, it's not so much that they're physically attractive, it's that their energy just, like, it's power is what I'm hearing and what I'm sensing. Like a person that walks in a room and they own it, that's their energy. Um, so I feel that, yes, this person is, you know, you know, what would be considered um, attractive, but I feel that it's more than that. It has more to do with their personality and with their energy. And I feel that this is a person that, really evokes power, whether it's um, that they may, like, when you initially see them, it's like the, the way they stand, it's, it's very upright with their chin held high. Um, it, it's it's like a, a very, I don't want to say domineering, but it's like they're very much in control of who they are, and that's how they're coming across. Now, for those of you guys that chose this set, what they're telling you is that you need to be able to embrace the um, embrace the feminine energy within you, whether you're a male or female. So when I hear that, it usually indicates to me a person that could be of strong temper or it could be a person that if you're a female, as an example, you like to be in control and you like to be like to come off or to come across as a person that is very domineering. Um, and what they're telling you is you need to embrace the feminine energy because this person that's coming through is very masculine and they are going to be very attracted to that of the female, uh, feminine energy, sorry. Um, so again, I feel that in past relationships, um, you could have been, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? It's like they're showing me that you've put up with a lot of shit you shouldn't have put up with in the past. Um, but somehow your energy, 
you like to portray yourself as someone that is very strong. And if you're a female, like I said, for an example, there's absolutely nothing wrong with embracing your masculine and feminine energy. But when you overdo the masculine energy, you can come off as being extremely controlling. And there is, that's not a good thing because you are, this is almost like this, the, the person that is very self-sufficient, the person that often says, I don't need a man or I don't need a woman. Um, I can do it on my own. And like you like to come, like you feed off of people seeing you as a strong person. But what they're telling you is you're, ignoring or not fully embracing your feminine energy and that's what you have to do moving forward you need to embrace your feminine energy being feminine is not to be submissive being feminine is embracing the female uh, female i keep saying female the feminine energy it's about being subtle it's about not being loud when you get upset at your partner and start screaming to try to show some type of domineering energy like you don't have to do that you don't have to do that to have the upper hand you don't have to do that uh to come off as strong sometimes and believe you me people that are that come off as extremely docile extremely what the, they're very meticulous in the way they express themselves and how they act because they understand the power behind embracing the the feminine energy and it's that, uh, like I said, coming off as docile, but it doesn't mean you're docile. It means that you're very meticulous and analytical when it comes to, you know, there is, there's methodical steps of why I'm being this feminine, why I'm coming off as extremely naive or, or, you know, sensitive or because you're wanting, do you get what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's like, Often than not, people that come off or try to come off as innocent are usually extremely, extremely analytical. It's like before they even, when you figure out that there is a purpose behind the way they're acting is because they already got what they wanted. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is that being docile or coming off as feminine, and I'm not saying that femininity has anything to do with being docile, but what they're saying is, you need to embrace that feminine energy. Sometimes people can get turned off when, when a person is too masculine. It's it's kind of like when, when males are being told that you need to embrace your feminine energy, it signifies a person that is extremely protective, extremely jealous, extremely controlling. Um, this is about trusting. This is about letting go of certain fears or experiences you've had in the past to be able to embrace a new beginning that is going to have a different outcome. Do you see what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. Now, for those of you guys that are men out there, uh, this person that's coming towards you is a person that is going to be very earthy. This is a person that could be um, light complected to medium complexion. Actually, no, sorry, medium complexion to dark complexion. This is an individual, a woman that may have uh, from brown hair to very dark or black hair. This is a person that is, um, like I said, very, it's like, they're very subtle, but they always stand out in the crowd. It's like there's something about them that is just very intriguing, very alluring, and definitely they have very strong eyes. So when I say strong eyes, it's the type of person that you make eye contact or accidentally make eye contact and they make you nervous. That type of energy is what I'm sensing. Now, what this person is going to help you let go of is regret. So regret could represent holding on to certain grudges, uh, holding on to uh, perhaps, you know, feeling like there is regret in regards to relationships in the past that perhaps you didn't, uh, you know, fully open up or that you didn't stand your ground when you needed to. Um, this person is going to help you heal through that. You may have dealt with people that were very hurtful, uh, that used um, the way they expressed themselves to manipulate you or to make you feel belittled. Um, hurtful words usually indicates to me a person that emotionally 
is manipulative. So again, this is what this person is coming through, is going to help you heal from. You're releasing that type of energy. This person is going to help you feel more empowered. And we have divine masculine energy. So again, I feel that this person is definitely going to help you balance. Um, now, it could be vice versa, you guys. It is a general reading. So it could be that you are extremely feminine or embrace too much of the feminine energy that this person is going to come through and show you that it's okay to embrace masculine energy, to take action, to get out of your comfort zone, uh, to go after what you want. Uh, this person is going to make you feel much more confident, even in how you see yourself. Uh, this person is going to uh, really bring to you that type of assuredness is what I'm hearing. Like they're going to make you feel reassured in this connection and perhaps something you've never experienced in the past. Now we also have, please be strong. I want to hold you so I know that you will be safe and sound masculine energy here so what they're showing me here is again a person that likes to show you through actions uh, this could be a person that is extremely physical like very touchy um the type of person that would put their arm around you or that if you're in public and they see that someone's like eyeing you or whatnot they kind of gent gently try to caress your face etc uh, kind of putting their stance that uh, this person is with you. Uh, so I definitely see them like really being very touchy, very affectionate type of energy. And when we look into each other's eyes, our souls become initialized. And that's exactly what was coming off this person's like their eyes, something about their eyes is going to stand out to you. Um, this could be a person, not necessarily, um, they may have a light colored eyes so it could be like um hazel eyes to light brown eyes um i don't see it being colored eyes i feel that it's more like on the dark side uh so it could be like i said uh, hazel eyes um they're giving me the color you know brown so in the spectrum it could be from hazel to very dark eyes a uh, dark brown or you know that type of energy. But what I'm sensing here is that something about their eyes is going to stand out. And the moment you both lay eyes on each other, you're going to feel that connection. If you're a man, you're going to feel it tingle. If you're a woman, you're going to feel them making you nervous just by the way they stare at you. Now, the next card here is we met in my dreams and your love is strong. So you guys could have met or cat, um, a, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You may have met or your souls may have met in the fifth dimension. So it could have been a connection that is not accidental. This is a person that either you've been wishing on or that they've been calling to manifest you into their lives. So very beautiful energy. Let's go on to set number three. Okay, my lovelies, for those of you guys that chose set number three with the pink candle, let's get into your reading. Now, the first card I have here is the Magician. So you may be dealing with an Aries energy. You may also be dealing with Cancer type of energy as we also do have here the Chariot card. So the Magician and the Chariot definitely signifies to me a person that is coming into your life because of a manifestation or because you're at a point in your life where you're preparing yourself or have been preparing yourself for love. So this is kind of like you've been calling this or they've been calling you. Now, the card that is symbolizing you at the present time is the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of anxiety in regards to love and romance, maybe fears that are taking or currently taking hold of you, uh, maybe feeling like there is a fear of I'm always going to be single or I'm never going to get married or I'm never going to get into a committed relationship. What Spirit is telling you is you need to pipe it down, girl or boy. You need to <laughs> pipe it down. Uh, let's get back into knowing our worth and knowing that we deserve to be loved. Now, the card that is symbolizing them is the full card. So again, very, very strong Aries type of energy here. Uh, this is a person that is ready to start something new. They've been looking or searching for some type of commitment. I feel that this person may be a bit naive in the way they approach relationships. I feel that this person has been hurt plenty times in the past. And this is a person that is not wanting to waste their time anymore. This is an individual that is very 
they know what they want and they're going to go after uh, what they want and they're not going to settle for anything less anymore. And I say anymore because I feel that this person has been very hurt in the past. However, this is a person that has been single for quite a while. So I feel that there was a lot of healing or there was a moment of understanding. Maybe I need to bring it back to myself and start working on myself. And that's definitely what uh, this person's energy is coming through very strongly with the magician. I am showing up and I'm going to um, show up into your life and not BS. I know what I want. Do you want the same thing? Let's move forward, that type of energy. Now, in regards to this connection, I feel that this connection is going to be very strong and very powerful from the very beginning. We have the Knight of Wands. So this is a physical connection. This could be uh, that you and the individual are very, very sexually attracted towards each other. Uh, hot and heavy type of energy is what I'm sensing. But I definitely see them being emotionally available. And that is always a positive when we're talking about relationships. Um, you know, you guys can be perfect for each other, but if someone in the relationship or in the connection is not emotionally open, uh, then they're going to be guarded. There's going to be type of fears that come or play into the connection. And then we deal with halt or pull, tug and pull type of energy. I don't see that here. I see that this connection is definitely going to be very strong. Uh, this is very energetically like you guys are being drawn to each other. Now, we also have here the Knight of Cups. So I feel that this individual that you're going to be dealing with, whether it's a male or female, is very light complected. They could have light colored eyes, could be uh, green, hazel, um, blue, uh, green type of um, eyes. This is a person that, uh, like I said, is very light complected. This is an individual that is, again, very emotionally mature. Uh, very open. I feel that they're very compassionate. This is like a very, it's almost like a, like when I send someone's energy and I feel like there is a bit of, what's the word I'm looking for? Like that they're very compassionate. They're very like, almost like an empath type of energy. That's what I'm sensing. So I feel that again, this person definitely has gone through a lot. I feel that in past relationships, like they, they were the ones that invested too much in a relationship. And I feel that they've grown from that. They've definitely learned their lessons. And I feel that this person is coming to you not as tainted, um, not as from their experiences, but they're coming to you as, I know what it is that I want. I know what I'm able to offer. Um, and I am open to the connection. So it's a very healthy type of connection here. And the likely outcome here is the four of wands. So I definitely do see uh, the power of manifestation with commitment, something long term, something that is not going to be uh, temporary. This person is looking for the long haul. This person is looking for something that is special. They're not just looking to get into any relationship. They've done the work and they've put themselves through the ringer. And this person is definitely ready to uh Find that someone that just blows them away. And I feel that you're definitely going to do that. Um, now, like I said, this person is very light complected. They have light colored eyes. Uh, this person may have something with their hair is standing out to me. So it could be like if it's a male, it could be that they have long hair. It can also represent a person that, uh, you know, does something to their hair, like uh, like puts a lot of product in their hair, like they really like, uh, there's an emphasis here in their hair. If it's a female energy, I feel that this person is definitely going to have um, like very bountiful hair. This is a person that is um, a very, they just come off as very like beautiful in an aesthetic way. Um and this is a person, again, that I said, it, their energy is very nurturing. It's, it's almost like you can see them being extremely nurturing from the very beginning, uh, very compassionate type of energy. Um, again, I, I'm, I'm seeing like if it's, if it's a male, there's something about their hair. So it could be not necessarily that they have long hair, but it could be that they have like a, a, some type of haircut that really makes them stand out. This is a person that... Uh, could be very unique in their style. Uh, could be a person that wears a lot of colors. Um, 
uh, with to their to their fashion. It could be a person, even if they're masculine, uh, could you know be into like you know like um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like um, I feel that there is something that is very unique about them in how they dress. Uh, even like wearing rings or like something that makes them stand out. Uh, this is a person that is okay. So <laughs> I don't know what that means to you guys, but uh, they're telling me that this individual, or whether it's a male or a female energy, uh, their lips something about their lips is definitely going to really grab your attention. It could be that they have like fuller lips. Uh, it could be that, uh, I don't know, they have beautiful lips. They could have like beautiful, a beautiful smile. Um, they're emphasizing their lips. So I just wanted to put it out there. Okay. And how you're going to meet this person I see could be through social media. So it could be a person that you already know, or it's a person that is going to make themselves known to you. And again, you may actually meet this person through social media. This person is going to be helping you heal uh, from, again, like I said, past experiences or feeling like in the past, you've never really known where you stand with the people that you've dated or the people that you were dealing with. Uh, could have been people that didn't really give you um, almost like a, you often question where you stood with them. Uh, it could be a person that, you know, uh, would come in and come out of your life very inconsistent. They're going to be helping you heal through this or healing through um, the fear of always being on the fence or always feeling like you're being rejected or like you're being put second place or as a second option. They're going to be helping you heal through this. And you also have date night. When I see this card, it usually indicates to me a person um that is going to approach you the right way. So what do I mean by that? This is a person that may be connected um, or they may view relationships like old school. This is a person that is going to want to take you out. This is a person that is going to want to invest in you to get to know you better. This is not no fuck girl or fuck boy energy that of you know uh, Netflix and chill type of shit. No, this is a per this is a grown person. This is a person that is going to want to you know wine and dine you. If it's a female, that's what they're expecting. It's a person that is not like they know their worth and they're not the type to be like, hey, let's Netflix and chill or let's, you know, hook up. They they don't do that. They're looking for that old school approach to romance and to basically um, romancing them is what I'm hearing. Now we have here, my answer is yes, of course, my darling, yes. So this is a person, again, like I said, that is very loving. This is a person that is going to be um, really, I I'm sensing like everything they do comes out of their heart. Like they genuinely do things because they're a good person. And that's very rare. So what I'm hearing is, again, I feel that oftentimes when we are in relationships or when we're getting to know someone, it's like they ask questions because they're wanting to get to know you, but really they don't really pay that much attention. It's kind of like this person is a very detailed person. So again, I feel that they're going to be like wanting to know everything about you so that they know your likes and dislikes. They're generally going to put genuinely put the effort to get to know you better and really romance you. Now we also have here the universe the universe planning my return. Please be patient. It has to be divine timing. So I feel that this is not the first time you've met this individual. And we're not talking about past partners or past relationships. I feel that there is a soulmate type of connection here. And that's definitely what I was sensing here with the King of Cups and the Magician and the Chariot. Uh, I feel that there is a soul tied here. Uh, this is a person you've met in a previous life and it's going to feel very, like I said, off the charts uh, when we're talking about connection. And finally, we have, I am scared. I'm afraid that you won't want me. And I feel that this is your energy. Um, 
I don't feel that that's their energy. So again, I feel that because of the Nine of Swords, there's a lot of fears that you're holding on to from past experiences or past relationships. You need to let go of that. You have to understand that there is no such thing as limits or there's no such thing as to what we deserve or what we don't deserve. You're the one that decides what you deserve and what you don't deserve. So if there is fears about, will I ever meet a person that is going to treat me right? Stop settling for people that mistreat you. If there is a fear of, am I ever going to find someone that is looking for commitment because I've dealt with nothing but people that don't want commitment or are confused, then stop dealing with people that don't want commitment or that are confused. Do you see what I'm saying? What they're telling you here, stop settling. You have to believe more in yourself or know that you are worthy and you're the only one that is um, setting your boundaries. You're the only one that is choosing what you deserve. Start choosing that you deserve the best. Start choosing that you deserve to be treated like a queen or like a king and don't settle for anything less than that. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment if you did. I uh, hope you don't mind my crappy nails. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so busy. I just haven't had time to go get them done. Anyways, so random. <laughs> I wish you guys the very best. I hope this gives you guys insight. Um, like I said, if you like these readings, definitely comment below. Let me know and we'll continue to do this. I wish you guys the best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.